Okay, now in this training, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look here. It's probably not going to be more than about five minutes or so of how you can turn your Facebook profile into a funnel, especially a funnel that's going to drive people to your Facebook group, but it could also be to a product or anywhere else you'd like. Now, the guy who made this famous is a guy by the name of Blake Newbar, and it's a really simple process. He actually sold this as a product for a while. He may still be selling it as a product. I don't know, but it's pretty simple. You, you, know, you make yourself a nice header image here, and I forget exactly how big this needs to be. You can Google it, of course, find it there. Uh, most people make it in Canva, or you can make it in Photoshop, whatever you want to build it in. And it's just so a nice image here. Now, the one thing you got to be careful of is you want to make sure you leave this center part blank because what it's going to do is it's going to take your image on mobile and stick it right here in the middle. So you want to be about halfway up with whatever you have here. And uh, that way it comes in and you'll still be centered on the page. And again, once you build it out, make sure you test it on mobile, make sure it's still legible and people can see what it is. But then what you do is, and I'll just click on this here, is you, and most people don't know this, of course, is that you can put a hyperlink on this image. And so you can put any kind of text in here and then a hyperlink. And then this one here would go to Blake's, um, Blake's group. Let me just click on that and we'll go to his group. So here is Blake's Freedom Fighter group, and you come in and you can, of course, join. I'm already a member of his group, and um, there you go. And so then let's see what else he has in here. Let's kill this. And then over here on your left-hand side, you can, of course, put in as many links as you would like. I probably have too many on mine. But then again, you can put an image right here. And up here it says link on mobile, link on desktop. So I would guess as this shows up on mobile, the link for this would be above here. But it doesn't, I guess, okay, so his groups, that's all he's pointing to here is the exact same link that he had up here at the top. And so again, you click on that image and it's the same content and the same link right there. So again, he's, uh, he's the master at this. He's got this thing pretty highly optimized. And so now let's take a look at how Kevin Steven has his setup. Same thing here. You got the entrepreneur's playbook, you got an open space in the middle, even though at this, if, uh, cause there's a, there's a URL back here, which gets hidden behind this. And once his image comes in here in mobile, it's going to cover some of that up. So he should probably move where that, that link is. And again, here he could have put in some text, but all he did was just put in, uh, the URL to his page and then little bit about himself, a couple of links, and then let's see if he's got a link in here as well. Here he does not have a link, so he should have one in there. And then let's just take a look at what Mario has. Same thing. Now, if you're going to notice in all of these here, they're going to have some sort of a call to action. Here he's got the URL. Blake, of course, has joined the Facebook group with an arrow pointing to there to get you to click on the call to action and again here mario does a good job a couple of big arrows get started to let you know you can click on this right here and again he could use some text in here along with the link again here is just again just the single link and um he's doing the same thing uh here click the link above to get started and like blake was showing us apparently on mobile or on desktop no let me see link on desktop yeah, yeah, he's got that backwards. So who knows? But the thing is with click, uh, I'm sorry, the click was with uh, Facebook, they change the stuff all the time. So it could have been the link was below and now it's above, who knows? And we'll just click on this and we'll see again, we have that there. So now let's go into my profile. And of course I have the weakest looking image of them all. So I need to really work on my image. And again, we click on this. And we have here the funnel launch challenge, some verbiage, and again, a link again. And then down here at the bottom, we'll click on this. And again, the exact same content. We got some verbiage and two links. And I say here, click to uh, click for free access, join our 10 day funnel launch challenge. Now what I'm doing that they're not doing, and maybe I should rethink this is I have all these other links in here as well. Maybe I should just put in the one link, but let's uh, take a look at this here. We'll click on edit details. 
And let me see, we've got to scroll down. So here are all of my websites. You see them all right there. We can come in, we can edit them. I'll just click on that one. And, oh, I see if you click on any of them, it brings you in here. It's been a little while since I've been in here. And now here you can edit what all of your different links are. And you can put in your YouTube link as well. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Let me go back to the profile page. Because I forget now exactly how you put in this image. Okay, there we go. I hadn't scrolled down far enough. So this is your featured image. And again, I put in, um, I just uh, made that in Canva, in fact, and dropped that in here. And then, let me see here, let me click on it. How do I set, like I said, it's been a while. I should have looked at this before I got in here to see how you set this. Okay, this is how you set it. You just click on it itself. Once you set that featured image, the image will be there, and then you can come in here and you can click on edit, and then that's where you can put in your URLs. Um, in fact, you don't even need the whole URL. You just need the domain name for it to work, and then other text that you might have. So again, you just set your featured image. You click on this. You come in. You pick out whatever image you have in here, or you can upload a new image. And then you come in and you just click on edit, put in the domain name, put in the URL, put in the text, whatever you would like right there. Now let's go up to the top and let's look at the same thing. And it says here, we're going to update our cover photo. And so we can select our photo. And so you go through all your photos, you figure out which one you want to put in there. Again, just Google what size that needs to be. And then once we're in here, we'll just click on it. Once you set that up, Again, same thing, just going to click on edit, put in the information you want, and then you are done. And so that is really as simple as it is. You've probably seen this about a million times now where people are using their header image and this featured image as ways to be able to get people to drive them to their um, they either their Facebook groups or you can, uh, you know, send them off of Facebook. You can send them to a sales page. You can send them anywhere you want just by putting that link in there. And then, of course, again, under your edit details, you can put however many links you want here as well. So people know to click on it and go check out your other information. And, of course, you can also put a little intro right here under edit the bio. You can put in a little intro here and you can put a link in there as well. So, as always, feel free to reach out.